Did you know that an engine's entire oil supply is filtered between four and five times every minute? And a quality filter is essential to maintain peak performance and engine reliability? We'll explain this and more during this module. Welcome to the Ryko Filters Training Academy. A vehicle's engine lubrication system utilises oil to manage the effects of heat, friction and wear on its internal and ancillary components. Engine oils include additives such as detergents and dispersants that capture and suspend contaminants, then carry them through the lubrication system. Quality oil filters are designed to collect and remove these foreign particles from the oil. The two most common oil filter designs we see are the spin-on and cartridge type. Let's take a closer look at their construction and in the case of the spin-on, their valve operation. A spin-on design incorporates an element housed in a metal case and located by a compression spring. The heavy duty base plate is attached to the housing using a double lock seam and is manufactured with both inlet and outlet ports, the seal retainer and a thread on the central port used to attach the filter to the engine. The outer ports allow oil to enter the filter, pass through the media's outer circumference, depositing contaminants and particles, and then exit the filter through the central port. The media is supported by a central spiral wound perforated tube that prevents the element from collapsing. A gasket made from nitrate butadiene rubber, which is engineered to suit high temperatures and provide resistance to oils, fuels and other chemicals, fits into the retainer and is used to create a seal between the engine and filter. The seal itself is specifically made to slip as the filter is tightened so that it will not pinch or bind. Ryko oil filters use a quality media which capture and store contaminants while meeting all key measures of ELF. Trapped particles and contaminants accumulate in the media over a period of time eventually reducing the filter's flow, leading to the need for replacement. The filter has a major requirement of not stopping or interrupting the oil flow. And this need is met using valve technology. A safety or bypass valve will prevent excess pressure from building up in the filter due to media blockage or high viscosity oil flow on extremely cold starts. The valve opens at a predetermined pressure, which is dictated by its compression spring. The size of the valve must also ensure adequate oil flow during operation. This allows oil to bypass the media and flow directly to the engine components. Even though the oil is not being filtered, it's still being circulated. An anti-drain back or anti-siphon valve is used to keep the oil filter full when the engine is switched off. Located between the element and the housing inlet on the base plate, these valves open easily and stay open when under pressure, allowing oil to continuously enter the filter. When the engine is switched off and oil pressure drops, the valve closes, blocking the intake ports and preventing oil siphoning from the filter and returning to the sump. For any filter that is mounted with the inlet and outlet facing down, and with no anti-drain back controls on the engine, it's critical that the oil filter be fitted with this device to ensure a rapid pressure buildup and instant oil flow to engine components, especially during a cold start. The cartridge, or eco filter, was developed to support environmental concerns in an effort to reduce waste products in the automotive industry. When compared with their spin-on counterparts, they are very simple in construction. A cartridge filter is a standalone element that is inserted into a reusable housing. Anti-siphon and bypass valves are generally manufactured within the oil pump or housing and are not part of the cartridge filter. The media itself is generally formed around a perforated tube 
that may be open at one or both ends. However, this filter does require additional service inspection, such as cleaning the housing and inspecting the valve operation on each service. When installing a new cartridge, the housing seal must be replaced and the cap torqued to the recommended specifications. Most passenger vehicles we see use the full flow oil filtration system, whereby 100% of engine oil must pass through the filter before traveling to and beyond the crankshaft bearings. At the end of its journey, the oil is returned to the sump ready to begin the cycle again. We can also refer to a full flow system as a multi-pass design. A bypass system is one in which most of the engine oil bypasses the filter and travels directly to the rotating engine components. The remaining oil is pushed through the filter and returned to the sump. The oil filters used in bypass systems are designed to remove much smaller particles than a full flow type. Bypass types are not as common as full flow and are generally found on commercial or older passenger vehicles. Some vehicles use a full flow and bypass combination oil system that requires two separate filters. These systems are primarily seen in heavy commercial vehicles as they provide the best possible protection for an engine. The majority of oil passes through the full flow oil filter which removes large particles with a small quantity of oil metered through the bypass filter that traps and removes extremely small particles and impurities that are not removed by the full flow oil filter. A dual element filter assembly contains two separate elements mounted within the same case. This can be called a two stage filter as it contains both full flow and a bypass element. The majority of engine oil travels through the full flow element and then onto the moving engine components, while a small amount is regulated and ported through the bypass element and then returns to the sump. Now that we understand an oil filter's construction, operation and its different design types, we can fully appreciate how important a quality filter is when fitted to an engine. As always, keep following the Ryko Filters Training Academy and develop your knowledge with the market leaders in filtration. Thanks for watching.